Okay, in this video, we're gonna set up version control. And we're gonna use something called Git, it's G-I-T. And Git is a common version control, most coders use it, it's probably the most popular one. And what it is, is it's a way to keep track of your code over time as changes occur. So you make a change, you save it to Git, that way if something goes wrong, you can roll it back to a time when it wasn't broken. So all kinds of uses for, for version control, especially if you're working on a team and several people are making changes to the code, version control will keep track of who made what changes and it'll help to kind of merge all the code back together again when people sort of work on sections of it separately. So it's very, very important and it's just a common programming thing. So we'll set that up in this video. Lucky for us, Cloud9 has Git already installed here in our development environment. We just need to set it up and turn it on. So I'm gonna head over to johnelder.org forward slash code. And this is just my personal little website and I have little snippets of code that I like to save. I'm gonna click on Git and initialize Git here. And you see these looks like five commands. We need to enter these into the command line in the terminal one at a time. So I'm going to start out with this first one and I'm just going to highlight this and copy and paste or you could just type it in. It's git config dash dash global username quotation marks and then just type your name and hit enter. And then the next one, same thing basically but with your email address, git config dash dash global user dot email and john e4196 at gmail.com and use a real email address here because in the next video we're going to set up github which is a place to store your code somewhere else like a third-party repository and it's a good idea to have third-party repositories hold your code in case your computer explodes or melts down or something else you'll have a copy of it somewhere else so github's the most popular one of those and you're going to want to use the same email address that you use to set up your github account right here so hit enter next one we can just copy and paste get config dash dash global push dot default matching now I've been doing this for so many years I don't even really remember what all these things do I just copy and paste them every time if I thought about it I could figure it out but yeah we don't really care we just pop them in there so the next one is get config dash dash global alias dot co checkout and then finally git init and init stands for initialize this sort of turns it on so we've created an initialized empty git repository in our directory that we're at right now and we're good to go. So in order to save your code, it's a several step process and you don't want to do this all the time, but every once in a while, especially after or right before you do something major to your code, you're going to want to save your code to Git and you have to do it manually. It's not something that it saves automatically, but to do it, we start out, we type in Git add and then period and the period stands for everything. So we're saying add all of these directories and files, everything into our repository, right? Now we type in git commit dash am and write a little message. And you'll see what, why these messages are important in the next video, but I would just type initial commit. It's our first commit, okay? And you can see a list, if we scroll back up here of all the stuff it's added. Basically, it's just added all of this stuff, okay? And there's one more step if we want to push this to a third party. And like I said, we're going to use GitHub. That's going to be our third party repository. And to do that, you would just type git push. But we haven't set that up yet, so we're just going to hold off on that. So we're good to go. And that's that's what we do every time we want to save something to Git. And uh, you should just sort of get in the habit of doing that. You know, like I said, every so often, right after you've done something significant or right before you're about to start doing something significant, save your code to GitHub or to Git and then push it to GitHub. So in the next video, we'll set up GitHub and go from there.